In our institution, we have, uh, we're very active in the programs of both ipcaritumab and glofitumab. We treated uh, around 60 patients in different phase one studies. So that's a relatively large number of patients in a small country like Denmark. So already locally, we are, because the results are so good and many of the patients respond and respond very well and durably, it's becoming more and more of a third and fourth line treatment because of course you can't include patients into phase one studies if they have attractive standard treatment options. But the thing is the results that we're seeing with these patients is much better than the kind of palliative chemotherapy that many of these patients would otherwise be left with. So, so um, from a clinician's point of view, safety and efficacy much more attractive than any, any palliative combination chemotherapy regimen that I know, at least in diffuse large B cell lymphoma, which is the main player in the, uh, in the aggressive lymphomas. And what will happen in the future is, is of course, um, not for people like me to guess about, but uh, because of the safety profile, which I have told you about, I've told you about CRS, there's also a little bit of neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, but generally a safety profile, which looks to be very combinable with, with uh, most of the known anti-lymphoma drugs chemotherapy, biological agents, antibodies. So the, the, uh, the safety profile promises that you can combine this in many, many ways. So apart from being a very potent single agent on par with CAR-T, I would say, um, the really interesting perspective is how this will be able to be incorporated with, with other treatments, with chemotherapy, with biological agents, with other antibodies, and particularly how it'll be able to be incorporated in prior lines of therapy, including curative settings. I genuinely believe, and this is my, this is a personal opinion, I think this treatment alone will have in selected cases curative potential. I've never seen any single agent more active in indolent nor aggressive lymphomas than this one. I can't think of any single agent cytostatic which would be more effective than what we see here in the left refractory. Uh, cases. So, um, so I think in individual cases, there is curative potential and certainly when you combine it well, and this is the task for the next couple of years.